In this video, I'm going to talk about outlier detection in Python using pandas. We've looked at this before in box plots, but this is a, an example of how to actually extract the data points that are outliers based on a certain column. And then you can go and have a look at them and determine whether you want to remove them from your data set. So we'll start with our imports. We're importing pandas and matplotlib and seaborn. We're going to take in a data set. And just to look at a few rows of that data set, this is a bike rental data set. So I think there's about two years of data in here. And for every day, it gives you the number of bikes rented, casual or registered. And, and some certain attributes for that day. So it's really for trying to predict how many bikes were rented on that day. So you've got uh, temperature, humidity, wind speed, and then a number of other attributes. So having a quick look at the statistics of this data set, this is by the describe uh, function. We can basically what we're using today to define an outlier is we're taking the 75th percentile data point away from the 25th percentile for a certain attribute. And then we take that interquartile range away from the 25th percentile. And if there's any data points lower than that, they're a lower outlier. We're going to add that interquartile range to the 75th percentile. And if there's any data points higher than that, they are an upper outlier. So what we'll do first is let's just have a look at three columns. So these are box plots. Again, if you want to find out more about box plots, we have a box plot video. I'll put a link to that up above. But what a box plot shows us is it shows us this is the this is the um, 25th percentile. This is the 75th percentile. You take that um, 20, you 75th minus 25th. You add that to the 75th percentile. So this is my this is my area where anything outside of this is an outlier i take that interquartile range away from the 25th percentile and then anything lower than this is an outlier so we can see with wind speed there's no lower outliers but there is upper outliers we see with humidity there is two lower outliers and we see with casual bike rentals there is a lot of upper outliers and that's great uh, if you want to see that you can use a box plot but now how the hell do we actually find out for those columns which actual rows are outliers so we can have a look to see if they are actually outliers or they're explainable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the 25th percentile uh, from wind speed and how we do that is uh, using a, a quantile function. So quantile 25 will give you the 25th percentile. So that is 13495. So that's just to show you how to get that. But I'm going to get an interquartile range now. So I'm going to take the 75th percentile away from the 25th percentile. And that gives us our interquantile range data point, which is 0 0.098. And I'm making my whiskers, which are these things here. So I'm saying that the whisker equals the 75th quantile minus the 25th quantile multiplied by 1.5. And then from the whiskers, so this is basically this multiplied by 1.5. From the whiskers, I can get a lower and I can get an upper range. Um, so I'm taking my 25th quantile minus my whisker and I'm taking my 75th quantile plus my whisker and that comes out. And then I'm going to use what I've described in another video called df.query to query the data set to see what are my outliers. So what... I didn't go over in that df.query video is that if you want to do a df.query and use a variable like we defined here, a lower and upper range, just put an at uh, in front of the variable name. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying if wind speed is higher than the upper range or wind speed is lower than the lower range, then it is a outlier. And from this, I can see what the outliers are. So I can see the outliers here for wind speed. So you can see if we go back up here to have a look at my statistical distribution for wind speed. And uh, what I have here is I have a 75th quantile of 0.23. I have a 25th quantile of 0.13. Multiply that by 1.5. I've got no lower outliers, but I do have upper outliers because that's about 38 and I've got 50 there as a max. So having a look at these wind speed outliers, they're all kind of they're all kind of high wind speed. So we can have a look at each of them and say, are they actually an outlier or are they not? So what I've done now is I have taken the this um 
I've taken all what we've done above and put it into a function and then we can easily add that function to other columns and easily see what the outliers are for other columns. So uh, what I've done for this function is that I've defined find outliers and my uh, input to this is a call. So I'm using a column of the data set, which is df.humidity uh, in the first time I call this function. So I'm doing the whisker equals call.quartile uh, 75 minus call a quartile 25 multiplied by 1.25 same as above getting the upper and lower range and then returning df.query using the column uh, to define my upper range and using the column again to define my lower range so if i go and find the outliers here for df.humidity this will just pull out my two humidity outliers and we can see that this is in line with my uh, box plot here i've got two outliers and they lie on 1.87 and 000 so from this i can probably see right i don't know if it's possible or not to have zero humidity but it probably isn't possible so this is an outlier and i can take it out of my data set this one i would have to do a bit of more research into but i can see that number 49 also exists in the day where I had the highest wind speed. Um, so this may be a, a normal uh, data point here. So having a look lastly of how we can uh, add the function to a variable and then look at that variable on its own. So I'm putting a, a variable called CAS equals find outliers df.casual. So this is finding my uh, df.casual outliers which I have a lot of and they are towards here so looking at my and this is this is casual stands for casual rentals so I've got a lot a lot of outliers in here but from a quick scan of these outliers I can see that most of these are for the summer months And by going through these, you can kind of see like you would pull out, is this a holiday? Is it a summer month? Is there a reason why casual rentals are so high? You can see from here, right? Every time we get into end of May, June, the weather will be getting hotter. Um, there is a lot of outliers in there. What I would look into is kind of some of the, uh, some of the outliers that fall into November, fall into... Uh, October and see if they're actually an outlier or not or there's a specific reason why casual bike rentals were up on that day so today we went over kind of an easy outlier detection and um, I've been looking into a lot of more complicated outlier detection methods recently so I'm going to release some videos on those going forward as usual the code is up on github and um, so I'll put a link for that down below and I hope you enjoyed the video any questions uh, please ask in the comment section. Thanks very much and see you next time for another Python tutorial.